Hello guys and welcome to this series on Adobe Character Animator. It will be an exciting series because we are going to cover the basics of Character Animator. We're going to cover the head, the body, we're going to do some rigging, we're going to do some sound, some acting, and we're going to be using triggers in there. And also, we're going to learn how to export your animation to video to bring it out there on YouTube and so on. So let's get to it. Let's go to Character Animator. Okay, guys, so once you open Character Animator, you will be greeted with this screen right here. If you are not greeted with this screen, then you will be working, it will continue working on the previous project that you have done. So once you open Character Animator for the first time, this is the screen that you will be seeing. All right, if you notice, we have some tutorial lessons right here, some recording lessons, and learning, learning the basics of character animator. We also have example puppets right here, a few of them that you can use as well. Okay, so let me open a project that I have been working on. So let's just hit, okay. Okay, so right now I'm seeing a blank screen right now. So this area here, Okay, is your project panel. This area right here would be your triggers panel. This important area right here is your timeline and your controls. All right, here is your microphone and your camera input. Okay, notice that you are seeing me right now and I have these red, <laughs> these red um, marks all over my face. This is important because this is what the computer actually uses to track okay the movements of my character okay so let us i right now i have a servant's puppet right here okay i dragged it from a photoshop file if you notice when i click on this servant's right here i can actually there's a photoshop icon popping up right here so if i were to click on this all right i would get a photoshop image all right, of servants right here. And also, I am actually seeing all the layers associated with servants, okay, from Character Animator. All right, so, but we're not seeing servants doing anything on our screen. So, what gives? Right now, we're seeing, we, we, there's just a puppet. But we need to create a scene from that puppet. So, how do we do that? Make sure that the puppet is highlighted, and then you're going to click on this clipboard right here. Okay? Add new scene. So once we click on this, we are seeing part of Servants' body right now. Okay? And this will help us go into our properties section on Character Animator. Where we see in the property section, we see there's dragger, we see there's eye gaze, we see there's face, lip sync, physics transform okay and triggers all right so what we need to do right now we want to see servants we want to see his full body to know what's going on with this guy all right so what we do we go into transform all right and we scale him down a bit right now he's on a hundred percent but we want to scale him down so we just drag click and drag this guy down to the levels that we want and then let's position him a little lower on the y-axis y coming down here and if you were to position him differently on our x-axis he would okay all right great okay so as you notice guys um our friend servants here is actually speaking while i'm speaking okay that's because my camera and my mic is on at the same time. So if I were to disable my mic, okay, servants will not be speaking because we are using, okay, the microphone to generate the sounds or the visimes or visims that will be synced with his voice, okay? So if we were to turn this mic back on, we're actually seeing the levels from the mic, all right, and we're seeing, okay, his mouth moving at the same time. Okay, so let's talk about our properties panel right here. 
Okay, if we were to go into a dragger, the dragger panel right here, we will see that there is a tool called a dragger. All right, what the dragger does, it basically drags. <laughs> so I have a dragger set on Serbans's wrist right here. So once I click and I drag, Serbans's hand, okay, will do the same. And if I drop it, okay, he will, his hand will remain. Now, under the dragger, there is an option called hold in place. Right now, it's on hold in place. But if I were to return to rest, this hand right here would come right back down. So, every time I raise it up, it will naturally come down. I have another dragger on his hand here as well. Okay? And once I drop it, Serbans likes to dance. So, I also have a dragger on his waist <laughs> hair as well okay so once i drag the mouse on there he will keep on moving <laughs> moving his waist okay so let me show you what the draggers are in the rig mode right here so we are in record right now so let us go into rig our rig mode right there when you go into rig okay you actually let me zoom in and out, zoom out on our friend's servants right here, so that we see his whole body. Okay, if we were to go on his left arm, okay, we will notice, okay, that his arm is right there. It's independent. Now, if you notice, these layers you see right here are the same layers that you will see in Photoshop. It is all in sync. So whatever changes that you make in Photoshop and you save that file, these changes will automatically be placed okay, in um, Character Animator. All right? So we have different layers in there. If you notice, guys, we have... On the record mode, we actually seen that Serbans's head, his hair, is moving. All right. This is because all this was rigged in the rig mode. All right. Now we're going to go through this in all our subsequent tutorials. This is just an introduction, so that I can, I can, you guys can actually see, okay, get familiar with the interface of um, Character Animator. Okay, but the main place that you guys will be working in is your record mode right here. Okay, and you'll be working in your rig mode as well. Okay, so if you notice under the dragger, there's the eye gaze. Right now, the eye gaze is using the camera to follow my eyes. Okay, I do not really use that particular function. What I do I usually use the mouse input or the sorry or the keyboard input. If you use the mouse input, what ha what would happen is that okay, your character okay will follow wherever the mouse is. Your character will look where the mouse is pointing at, okay? But I would prefer the keyboard input. Let me just zoom in on our friend here. So that we could see what's happening with his eyes. All right. So if I use the keyboard input, right, left, up, down, okay, we will see that we have some more control on this right here. Okay. All right. So that would be controlling, all right, the eye gaze. This would be controlling your eye gaze. You can also control your camera strength if you are using the camera as well. Okay. So, under, let me just collapse this there. Under your eye gaze, you have the face parameters right here. All right? You have the head position strength. Right now, it's on 100. We have the smoothing. We have pose-to-pose -pose movements. So, right now, the pose-to-pose -pose is on zero. So, if we were to put it on 100% and we would try, we would try to move, we would have a problem here. If we were to put it on 50%, You'll get some post to post ticking going on there. There'll, there'll be some form of delay. All right. But if he's on zero for the post to post, he will move as you move. Okay. Your head position strength right now is on 100. Okay. 
If we raise it up to uh, 900, we can see that just little subtle movements will be highly exaggerated, right? So then if we were to put it on um, 54, okay, it will be subtle, okay? So I'm going to leave it on 100%, okay? So your head scale strength, that's up and down, right now it's on 25 so if I were to put it on 130, <laughs> see what happens when I come closer or further. All right. Your, the face will tend to look distorted. It's too much. Right? So right now, I like to keep it or either between 0 or 25. So I'm going to just keep it on 25. All right? Your head tilt strength controls the tilting of the head. Okay, so right now here, I'm going to have it at 190. See what happens? Is that tilts on the side here? All right, that's too much. All right, so I'm going to have his head, head tilt strength probably on 50. All right, well, that's cool enough. All right, your eyebrows strength would control your eyebrows. Guys, these are parameters you could just play around with. All right, because... The characters are already there. If you want to, you could grab one of those sample um, characters and you could play around with the parameters of these particular characters. All right. So here we have your triggers. Okay. We are going to go into a, sub, a, a tutorial based on triggers as well. So this series will be an exciting one. We're going to start from scratch on how you are going to use character animator to bring your characters to life. All right, so let's head to our first tutorial where we're going to start off by making up a character's head. Let's go. <laughs> 